All right, good to see you. In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate the mean when you're looking at the grouped data, huh? at, a, at a grouped frequency table. Okay, now let's say this is a table that shows the amount of hours students uh, study per week. Yeah, I just made it up uh, a minute ago. Let's say so between zero and four hours a week, 12 students, between five and nine, seven students, between 10 and 14 hours of study each week, 11 students, and 15 and 18, 10 students. And then the questions you will get is like, what is the model class? And then calculate an estimate of the mean. Yeah, which is a paradox. That's what I explained in the previous uh, videos. I'm going to go a little bit quicker now. The modal class, yeah, which is nothing more than the mode, yeah, the mode um, which class is most popular, and that will be this class, isn't it? So what is the modal class? Well, that would be the class from 0 to 4. Okay, but now calculate an estimate of the mean. We don't know the exact um, values. So what do we have to do? I told you in a previous video, we have to take those mid values, those midpoints, don't we? Between zero and four, what lies in the middle? That it will be a two and a seven in the middle there and a 12 in the middle there. And uh, that is wrong, that should be a nine. Can I just change that now for you? Yeah, so let's put a 17 there, okay? So between 15 and 19 hours of study. Okay, and then to calculate an estimate of uh, the amount of hours, yeah? an estimate of the mean, that will be then the mean. I'll just continue like this for you. So like you do with an ordinary frequency table, I will do 12 times two, yeah, because the mid value is two, plus the frequency seven times, yeah, seven, that happens to be the same, plus 11 times 12, yeah, my frequency is 11, the mid value is 12, plus 10 times 17, okay, plus 10 times 17. And all of that divided by the amount of values, okay, so how many students did I ask how long they study each week? Well, 12 here, seven there, so that's 19, um, 20, 30, 40 students. Okay, so I've asked 40 students, so I divide all of that by 40. And before I start calculating it, let's just have a quick look. What do I expect? What is my expectation of the, of the estimate of the mean? Well, anyway, somewhere between zero and 19. And if I look at the frequency, let's say I should get an answer of what? 10, yeah, or nine or 11, something like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, what I will get, I'll get my calculator, 12 times 2 plus 7 times 7. It's always nice if your answer is similar uh, as what you were expecting. 10 times 17 equals 375. Write it down, divided by 40 equals, now we say divided by 40, and 9.375. Yeah, uh, so that could be uh, 9, 3 over 8. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it like that. So that is 9, 3 over 8. Just checking that. 9, 3 over 8. Or you could have said probably uh, correct would be 9.38. Yeah, three significant figures. Okay, so 9, 3 over 8. That's exactly what I expected. Somewhere between 0 and 19. It's roughly equally divided. Yeah, so I would imagine a number somewhere in the middle that's why i said well about 10 or 9 or 11. so if i get an answer of 9 3 over 8 that is beautiful okay so with those grouped data take the midpoint multiply that by the frequency and of course divide it all in the end by the amount of values all right i wish you a very pleasant evening i'm going home now and i'll see you tomorrow